hey ladies it's me april welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be working with gel polish we're going to be working with glitter stamping and foils and i'm super duper excited because i haven't done all these in one manicure so let's go ahead and show you which polishes i'm going to use so this one here is madam glam and this is the perfect white then we have You're So Vain from Madame Glam. And then we also have the top and base coat from Madame Glam as well. And glitter, obviously I need glitter in my life. So we're using Magpie Glitter and this is Blossom. And the stamping polish slash foil polish that I'm going to use is this one here from Mora. And this is called FGP Black because it's foil gel polish black. The stamping plate I'm going to be using today is this one here and it's from Sugar Bubbles and it's SBS 013. And the stamper that I'm going to be using today is from Mora. And this is a clear stamper. It's sticky on the head too, so it's great for picking up. And the applicator brush that I'm going to be using for the glitter, it's this one right here. And it's from Magpie Glitter, and it's called the Application Brush. And this is what I'm going to be using to apply my Magpie Glitter. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, so with gel polishes as always you're going to have to go ahead and put a base coat so that's what we're going to go ahead and do first once you apply the base coat on all nails then go ahead and cure for 30 seconds okay, so as you can see here natalie has some coffin slash ballerina nails i'm still trying to figure out which is the difference so if you guys know what's the difference between them two comment down below and let me know and so i have them you know normal size length so just because i wanted to go ahead and just do a little different um styles i know i do mainly stiletto because i love stiletto nails but i also like coffin shape as well Now that that is done curing, we're going to go ahead and use the You're So Vain on two of the nails. We're going to have that on the pinky and on the index. And these nails are a requested video. I had gotten one of my subscribers and they wanted me to do some foil stamping. And so this is their video for them. And if you guys have anything that you want to request or for to see, just comment down below and let me know in any of my videos, not just this one, but in any of them. Now let's go ahead with the perfect white from Madam Glam.
And when you're working with gel polishes, even um, on builder gels, just let them settle for just a little bit before you put them in the UV, the UV light or the LED light. Uh, just so it can come out like smooth and then go ahead and use your lamp. And before stamping, we're gonna go ahead and use the alcohol to go ahead and remove the tacky layer on those gel nails because you can't stamp over them because then it's gonna leave sticky residue. It's just, just not gonna look great. Use napkins or a lint-free wipe. I'm using the Viva napkin brand. It's pretty good. For nail stuff, it's good. Rub over the nail just a few times and it should turn out matte as you will see on my pinky nails. And it still has shine, but it's still kind of like a matte feel. And then when you for sure know that it's not sticky anymore, the feel of the nails, they feel kind of like rubbery, you know? So once you feel them rubbery, we're good to go. All right, so let's lift up Natalie and look at the plate. So the images that I'm going to be using is this Santa Claus, these little um, ornaments here, and then also the snowflake that's over here on this side as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the stamping, and we're going to go ahead and get the foils, the, the foil stamping gel. And we're going to go ahead and do the ornaments first. So I do the roll and it picks up really good. I'm so surprised because this is actually my first time doing foils with stamping. <laughs> and it's quite easy, I must add. Anyway, so let's go ahead and just clean up the area and then stamp it onto the nail. looks pretty good so let's go ahead and do the next one the next one will be the Santa Claus and this image is so darn cute I must say but um, I do clean off with acetone with my Viva brand napkin and then we go ahead and add the gel polish on top a swipe and a roll pick up clean up and then add to the nail Okay, after all the stamping and the cleanup, 
We're gonna go ahead and cure these gel polish. We're gonna cure this first before we foil. We're gonna cure for 30 seconds. Once that is done, you're ready to put the foils down. So these are all the foils that I have. And the one I'm gonna use is that top gold one. Now these are the magic foils from Mora and they are so super duper thin. I mean, I was scared that I was gonna rip the piece. But, you know, all you gotta do is just add the piece onto the nail. Rub, 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 and then lift off. And it would all be there. It's super cool. <laughs> I, I thought, I was really excited when I was doing this. I was like, man, look at that. That looks so cool. So, but yeah, um, they're pretty neat. If you haven't tried foil stamping, you got to try it. It's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and do the Santa. I mean, it's, it's, this is really cool. I like the pink with the gold and the white. It's, it looks really nice. It's turning out really good. So again, we just rub, rub, rub. Make sure though you're rubbing all over the nails so just so you don't miss any spots. And say you did, say you did miss on some spots. Then you just go ahead and get the foil and put it back onto the nail, rub again, and it should be there, no problem. Now, I noticed on my middle finger, there was some spots added. I'm guessing I did not clean up my nail properly from the beginning when I was using it with the alcohol because it added more like lines to the hat. So all I did was I used a little tiny brush and got some alcohol and to try to clean it off. And it did, but I was afraid to mess up on the hair I mean on the um on the actual hat so I just left it alone I was like no I don't want to redo this it just looks too darn cute already so let's just forget about it see them a little closer and because like it shows that it's still black but it's really gold you do not see any black on the nails at all I really like it it's cute So now let's go ahead and use the top coat for the ring nail and we're going to do it like a sugar nail on that finger there. Now we got the glitter open and all we're going to do is just tap, dunk, tap, dunk, tap, all throughout the nail, dunk, tap, dunk, tap. <laughs> Just make sure that you put glitter all over the nail and then remove the excess glitter and I was just using my nail and I'm like hey why do I just use the darn brush so that's what I did it was a lot quicker and faster and easier <laughs> so then <clears throat> after that we're gonna go ahead and put top coat on all the nails except except that ring nail because I wanted it like a sugar nail, so it's going to look really pretty at the end.
All right, so now let's go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. And this is the outcome of it, guys. What are you guys thinking? It looks so cute. I love it. It looks really beautiful. And I'm so thankful that I did this because it actually opened up my mind and said, hey, start doing some foil stamping, girl. But anyway, um, you will see that on the that sugar nail there, no glitter came off at all on, on my nails. Nothing. It was just stuck already with the, the gel. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And thanks guys for watching and share the love. Bye.